storms that we saw when we just got to camp and then kind of quit and they kind of came back and then they kind of quit. And we got set up a little after dinner and we could see them rolling in over the top of the mountains to the west of it. About the time we got tucked in, 7, 6.30 or 7 o'clock. Rain for eight hours. The peaks out there is definitely thunder snow. About a thousand feet above, it looks like it snowed, but we yeah, got eight hours of rain last night. Seven, a little after three, I think, kind of quit. It stays mostly dry. Extra large cup of coffee. Sun warm us up here in about an hour trying to get down to this. Look at after the forecast yesterday only called for a 40% chance of rain. So uh, our schedule's been compressed a little bit by the long-term forecast that we left with, so we'll see what we can do. along this edge up to the elevation and we get lucky with the blue grouse. Go on, I hunt them up. We're really relying on the dogs to do a lot of heavy lifting here, specifically Hawk. Um, as the thermals, it gets warmer, the thermals will be coming uphill. And so it means that the dogs, in order to smell birds, have to be able to go above um, and uh, try and you know, get above where the birds are. They're going to be tucked in because of the storms last night. If I were a tournament, I would have tucked in some of these big rock crevices. So, um, I'm kind of hunting the edge of these rock fields. I'm trying to keep Ida out of the main sections of the rock field uh, just to save some pads. She's pretty worn. So, and Hawk is running long. He's out there at 400 yards right now, probably. I just saw him go over that hill out there. So, uh, I have to tone him and get him back going this way. Uh, but he is covering lots of ground. Uh, it's a big ask. Hawk is not yet two years old. So it's a big ask for him on a first ptarmigan hunt to understand the game. But this is what you have to do with young dogs. You put them in scenarios and hope that they're, uh, there's enough between their ears that they can figure this out. Ida, of course, is going to stick close to us because that's her job. She knows it, but she's getting a little birdie, so. getting into it now. Hawk was just pointing at his boulder field above us. I've got Nugget going up above. I mean, 
That's good. Side hill from there, Nug. We'll work. I'll work below you and try and side hill. There's birds up in here, boys. Try to smell birds here. Go get them, I. seen something. Nugget hot getting after it up there. I just going to join him. That's real, real terrain. I had a flyby by a bunch of Tweety birds. I don't want him really out there on that rock field, so I'm going to turn him. Small sections of that are okay, but up here, I get injured in that field, and man, it's a long haul to carry them out. So we're gonna try and keep them in the hedge here. Birds could certainly be in there, but it's not worth it. And if you knock one down in the middle of that rock field, there's a good chance you're gonna lose it. Getting after it though, that's a really good place for him. A really good place for him. Hawk acts like he's pointing for John. Not real serious yet though. He wants John to fucking go on that boulder field. So kind of what we've got going on is the backdrop. The dogs have gotten way more birdie as we're coming downhill, which is good. And we've got lots of fields of slag and stone that they could be in. But as you can see up behind us, what we've got is the underlying current here. The clouds are starting to close in and close in. The blue in between those clouds is getting less and less. So probably standard Colorado weather pattern is by the afternoon we're going to have some kind of storm build uh, as the heat of the day builds and you don't want to be in that storm if you can help it I mean so uh, we're going to keep working our way downhill we've got a few hours yet maybe uh, before we had to head back down but we covered about uh, probably a little over three miles and uh, we've got another whole lot up here but hopefully we just flushed to off this point. I don't think they went far up in here.
stick in here, right? Look in here, Hawk. Look in here. There, kill it. Watch for the second one. Did you miss, Nug? It's okay. Did you put your second shell in? Ida, come. Good girl. It's coming over this way. I never come back up around this side. No, Ida, come. <laughs> I mean, that was a dead bird, but I was messing with the camera. Good girl, Ida. Here, come down in here. Stay in Ida, here. That didn't go far. We gotta try and get hot to point. They're probably down there in those boulders. They'll just be ready because they're holding real tight, Nug. Watch behind you here. Where are they? I find them. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Yeah. Nice and easy, uh, I'd. No, they didn't go far. Nice and easy, Ida. Watch behind you, John. All right. Back down off the hill. Everybody's intact. Opportunity. Everybody got a chance. It's kind of what it's about. 
clouds are building over there by camp so we're getting off about the right time great day so far oh, uh, need a little bit of hydration and some calorie replacement it looks like we're going to get rain this afternoon Whew. Race to shelter is officially on. See camp just downhill over there. Here comes the rain. I mean, you could just see it rolling in. We're coming, bud. Yeah. 400 meters to camp and the rain is just about on us. Go Cub. Go Cubby. I've expected this is the uh, standard Colorado weather pattern for the mountains, pretty much. Uh, storms, clouds, and storms build, and then by the afternoon there's some kind of shower. Uh, and this kind of shower, you know, you could tolerate right now. If you had rain gear, which we do, it's not really easy to hunt. Birds already aren't moving that much scent because they're in rocks half the time, so. That's uh, problematic, but uh, yeah, it's better to be back down off the mountain because if this were a thunderstorm, you really don't want to be up there. Uh, we're officially in the part of this trip where uh, I kind of refer to it as the stacking segment of the trip, which is how many days can you stack where you're physically taxing yourself or you're physically taxing your dogs and likely both. Uh, to, a, to a max level. How many of those can you stack up back to back to back before you break? Um, I won't reach the breaking point on this trip, but really what's happened uh, is that the weather is going to decide for us because tomorrow the forecast, although we have no signal up here intentionally, when we left, the forecast for tomorrow was scattered. And then so we're going to try and get in on the scattered, but then on Wednesday, it's just a, a deluge. So I think it's answered our questions for us. So anyways, we get a break here and uh, let this pass hopefully. And maybe we'll get cooking dinner or something. I don't know.